I know what you want. Another cigar video. I don't know if I'm going to be able to smoke this entire thing. Well, let's read it. Don Diego apparently is what this is. Playboy. Okay. It's one of those cigars. So let's open her up. Don't want to stall this out any. You guys are all like... What is she doing in there? You guys... Oh, like, we would love to see more cigar videos by this guy. So I made the video saying, I don't know if my videos are worth making, and then people just didn't agree with that entire concept, honestly. They're you know, like, we'd like to see more cigar videos by this guy. You guys made a big fuss over that. So I'm here to tell you, that's just what I plan on doing. My clipper didn't break this time. A little piece. Alright, well, there it is. Not a light, this fucker. Torch it up. Oh. Four lighters right there. Torch it up. I'm gonna get it started like this. I already smoked one cigar so far, so. I mean, not today, but for that video. So it's like now that I'm trying it, I'm nowhere near as nervous. I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. Because somebody left a comment saying, don't worry too much about this, that, that form, you know, technique, just just smoke it, cut it the best you can, and smoke it, it's your cigar, so, like, you know what, he's right. That tastes really fucking good. This is a lot better than the other cigar. Nah, I, I, are the flavors supposed to change as you go? I, I don't, I don't know. Cappuccino. To oh, now I have friends. Cappuccino to go with the cigar. I don't know how long it's going to take me to smoke this. Probably a very long time. So, I plan to kick back and just enjoy this thing. I wanted to do this video sooner, but I was saving it for my day off. So that way I could just sit back, not be like, oh, I gotta go to work in an hour. I should be like, nope, I gotta torch up a cigar and sit here for an hour. I don't know what it is, but this cigar was like six something, so it, it was um, hell, over twice as much as the other cigar I got, that little short fat one from my older video, that one was like a dollar something, and I was like, okay, I want to try a cigar, I'll just try the cheapest thing, see what that's like, and I was like, yeah, it's a pretty okay experience, you know what happens when I buy the bigger boy, the more expensive guy, newsflash, tastes a hell of a lot better, it doesn't taste as uh fucking as earthy as the dollar one it was just the, the other one just tasted kind of like it was you know whipped together and this one kind of tastes like you, you know they put a little bit more into it a little bit more So, you guys want smoke and chat now? No reviews. Good, because I don't know how to review. So, smoke and chat. Well, let's chat about some things. I'm sure I could come up with some decent topics for you. Um, let's start with... Feminism! No, no. Well, oh, we could. Okay. Well, let's start with that. If I have any feminist fans, um... Sorry. But... My big problem with feminism is I got a dick. Now, anybody who knows the first thing about modern feminism, feminazis, if you will, having a dick basically means you get the shittiest end of the deal because you're at fault for everything. Now, I'm not saying every feminist is an extremist. 
They might be. But I'm not saying every feminist is an extremist. But the ones you hear about are. So let's talk about them. Those fuckers. I've been watching a lot of that guy uh, Undoomed on YouTube. And he likes to show us, like, um, basically the most extreme examples of these things, like um, social justice warriors, if you will. <clears throat> feminists. He likes to show us the more extreme ones to kind of be like, okay, these are the dumbasses that, that exist. I'm like, okay. So I watch that. And they are like trying to say sometimes that men rape without even knowing it. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, eh. If you rape, I think you know you're doing it. Ask Bill Cosby. He won't admit to it, but he knows he did it. You just don't want to say it, because he did some serious rape. What was that, uh, Jim Jeffries talking about, um, when you wake up with Bill Cosby fingering you and he's making those noises? You, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, fucking coffee goes very, very good with cigars. There you go, kids. What's better than a cigar? Having coffee with it. What's better than that? Probably brandy. I'm not old enough. Not like that would stop me, though. I'm gonna be sitting here for four fucking hours with this thing. There's gonna be some jump cuts, believe me. I cannot just upload this directly. It's gonna already take hours... I might just do some highlights. I don't know. Strangely enough, there's plenty of people in my family who I don't want to call fancy, but they definitely have a more uh, older fashion, organized lifestyle. You know, like my uh, grandpa, who he can just sit there and just be like kind of elegant with what he does. But I'm the only person in the family that probably smokes cigars. <clears throat> it's weird. I turned smoking into a sport in this family. I'm talking to somebody. I'm recording a video. You really want to put him next to a cigar? What, well, you think you're Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, I just like cigars. I'm leaving that in. Think I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yes, I do. The only difference is, I'm fat. I'm lazy. And I make pizzas. Oh yeah, I make pizzas. It's not the funnest thing to do. Oh, they just compliment each other. Where am I going to drop my ashes? Well, I'm outside so I can do it pretty much anywhere I want. You think my ashtray is getting too full? I do. Come on. Okay, you're not ready. We'll do it when you're ready. Another thing Bill Cosby didn't do, things when people were ready. Smoke and chat, smoke and chat, got a chat and smoke and a smoke and a chat. Yeah, ten minutes, and this is all that's gone. So, I don't think I can upload me smoking this whole thing. I look so fat on camera, just like, yeah. John Goodman, no. But, one good thing to come out is I do want this to be a longer than usual video, maybe 20 minutes, 25, maybe half an hour. Because I haven't done a smoking video in a while, and I haven't put out the cigar video that I promised I'd put out. So it's time to do that. And it's time to give you guys a fucking show. You've been tuned in to the Scolio show, wanting to see me smoke a cigar, and I haven't done it. So here I am, doing it for you. Now, I imagine that if you were not a smoker, like you'd never smoked a day in your life, and you were to try and smoke a whole one of these things, you'd probably throw up. Not me.
I'd say it's, it's a decent burn. It's nothing bad. I'd say I've done pretty good with this big guy. I need a fancier ashtray, like a glass one. I used to have a really good one, but then I left it behind when I moved out of my mom's and somebody claimed it. I don't know. I could have taken it back. Like I said, you know, this is actually mine. I'm taking it. It wouldn't have done anything. But a little corner of it was chipped off, so I was like, fuck it. If it ain't in pristine condition, I don't want it in my hands. I'm that kind of guy. What are you doing, bug? You want some cigar? We just need to take a second to compliment the smoke that actually comes off of this thing. It makes your nose hairs tingle, and it's good. I wish I was allowed to smoke inside. I would have that whole apartment filled at this point. But come on, to true fans of my content, you gotta admit, it is nice to finally just go to my channel and see another good old fashioned, slightly lengthy, smoking on the balcony style video. Come on, you guys have been waiting for that, don't lie. That was delicious. What I do is I get French vanilla cappuccino. And I put sugar and cream on top of that. And that's what I drink. Sugar and a super caffeine rush. It's... I like this day off. I really do. Another thing. To you lonely people out there who are like, I have no friends. There's a way out of that. What you do is when you get a free day, instead of worrying about who you could be hanging out with, you just smoke a fucking cigar. Okay? So therapeutic. Although, how I do want the length of this video to be a certain length. I'm going to have to record it longer than that because there's going to be a lot of jump cuts that I got to do. Because there's a lot of times where I'm not saying nothing or something weird happened. So, yeah. So I'm going to use that to check my phone. I probably should not have hit it that much, but it, it was just trying to put itself out, so I had to get it really going again. See? I'm going to try inhaling a little bit. Just a little bit. Now that wasn't super harsh, but you notice no smoke came out. So if you try and inhale a hit off of these like it was a cigarette, which it is not. It's not. If you try and inhale, you'll feel a nice little burn, and you'll exhale and nothing will come out. That's how fucking strong these things actually are. That's why people say, I can't stress enough, do not inhale these. Don't inhale these, you're supposed to and enjoy them and have a cup of brandy. And it's true. Or coffee. I would have done really good on the Titanic. I would have just sat there in my fucking rags and smoked a cigar. No, I, 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 if you see the movie, I would have been Jack, basically. Well, I wouldn't have been Jack. I would have been somebody like Jack, but I'd be the version that sucks at art and can't get a girl. These things are going to be what kills me. Did everybody just talk about feminism, though? And then just stop and just start talking about something else? Like it was just another tiny topic? I honestly hate social justice warriors in particular. Fucking hate them. And I, I could use that old thing of, well, what if I have a social justice warrior fan? I highly doubt that I do. Because number one, no social justice warrior would like any of my content. Number two, if they did see my content... I would have found out in the comments section by now what they did not like that I have done. And I would have proceeded to calmly but surely do exactly what it is they don't want me to do. That's me. This is my channel. 
I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do on it within the guidelines, of course, that, you know, things I'm allowed to do. Do I swear? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Which brings me on to the next topic. YouTube heroes. I can see how it's going to be a problem, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. I... It's possible that too many asshats are going to take advantage of it, and they're either going to crack down on who can do it, or they're going to shut it down all the fucking together. I don't know. For somebody who makes YouTube videos, I'm not actively involved with the other parts of the community, such as things that are going on, changes to the terms of service, you know, new programs that are happening. I hear about them. But I don't dive in deep into what they are and all that. Yeah, a little bit. Because there's certain YouTubers I watch that touch up on these things. So that's about the the most extensive I'm going to hear about them is what they say. Because I don't really care that much. Number one, because I don't monetize my videos. And I've been through this before. I, I'm not complaining about this. I'm just stating the fact that I don't have enough subscribers, well, enough viewers... For my videos to even justify turning on ads like that's and that's one thing that pisses me off you'll get this guy that he has like say like me you know between 50 and 100 subscribers he gets maybe 100 200 views a video and then he has his ads turned on like you're probably not making anything so why put people through a fucking advertisement that's not really even going to benefit you if anything, it's probably going to turn people away. Now, if I ever reach the point on YouTube where I have, you know, between 20 to 50,000 subscribers, if I ever hit that point, then I might monetize my videos. Until then, there's really no monetary reason to. Because I wouldn't... I wouldn't want to put people through fucking ads... That aren't even going to benefit anybody. And I say anybody because if I were to monetize my videos and have enough views to make a good amount of money doing it, then that revenue could be spent to fund videos, buy a really expensive cigar, um, try different types of cigarettes I really want to try but just don't have the means to. You know, it would give me those opportunities. So, not only would it benefit me financially, but it would benefit you guys, because then you could see more of my content, and more of me doing what I personally would like to do, that you would like to see. And there are some things I just can't. But I'm not in the boat to where putting advertisements on my video would be beneficial to anybody. It would kind of ruin the experience of watching my content more than it would help it. So, that big sidetrack, sorry, that big sidetrack right there was related to the current things going on on YouTube. Because people are talking about the biggest problem has been, which hasn't been that big of a problem, people just really blew it out of proportion, which I knew they would. YouTube demonetized my videos and blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, they did. Cool. Change the fucking title. Alright. Change some shit about it. As much as you can. And try and fight it. Upload more friendly content. You guys are getting your videos demonetized because you did some inappropriate shit. Not, and I don't really consider it inappropriate, honestly. But you guys did some things that they didn't like. Now, if I had 500,000 subscribers, I'd probably be getting hit hard. I swear constantly. And my videos are about smoking. I don't think the companies would view smoking as advertiser-friendly. You know, things that the advertisers would want to put their ads on. You know, I don't think they would like me too much. So, you big guys can't really bitch, because you're in a position where you can completely change what it is that they're demonetizing you for, and still keep your content essentially the same. Me, if they were to have a problem with my smoking, 
my whole fucking channel would be shot as far as making money. But I don't monetize my videos, so I don't know. Frankly, I don't care. Now, my biggest reason for my absence on YouTube would probably be the music thing. You know, me and my friend are back at making music. So, yes, I am in a rap group, and no, it's not your... With the fucking... And the... Shit going on, you know, the fucking... The mainstream, if you will. It's a good old-fashioned two-man rap group with the types of style you'd hear from D12, ICP, and King Gordy kind of all mishmashed into one is where our main inspirations are from. And and as far as Eminem goes, yeah, he you could say he's an inspiration, but kind of indirectly, because I see D12 as a group as uh, more of an influence to me than Eminem alone. Because D12 had Eminem in his real slim shady persona. The real goofy slim shady joking kind of guy. All right, because outside of D12, he did have some goofy and some funny songs, obviously. But he was generally a bit more serious. And that's not um, really an influential thing for me, because we are a shock humor group. We say very shocking and disgusting things. So we're in the category of horrorcore slash shock humor. And I am the audio engineer for the group. The producer, if you will, even though it's kind of a... Producer's kind of a term that's been said a little bit too much and applied to areas where it should not be applied. For instance, if you turn your microphone on and you record your friend and you kind of EQ, do some compression, you know, reverb, just shit like that, this is the general mixing. It doesn't really make you a producer. It makes you an unlicensed audio engineer at best, honestly. Now, I understand that there reaches a realm where... You know, you could say, oh, I'm a music producer. You're probably not licensed. So it's kind of hard to claim that. Because there is a difference between a producer and an audio engineer. I'm just not going to go in there, into that whole argument. So yeah, to make a long story short, even though I already gave you the long story. Absence on YouTube, been doing a lot of musical shit with uh, my friend. And aside from that, you know, I mentioned in the other video that yeah it's I honestly thought this whole smoking thing was just gonna get kind of uh stale for you guys but you spoke up and you said otherwise and due to that here I am puffing on this thing things you won't hear from me I don't care how many subscribers I have I'll never really beg for subscribers, okay? If you see my content and you like it, subscribe. It's as easy as that. I'm not going to say, please subscribe, because if you don't like my content, I don't want you to subscribe to me, because I don't want your uh, subscription page filled with my shit if you don't like my videos. It's as simple as that. However, when it came to explaining why I wouldn't monetize my videos, it's important to bring up that I don't have that many subscribers, because it is directly related to why I shouldn't monetize my videos. It doesn't bother me that I have a, a small subscriber base. That doesn't bother me. Because I have a few people out there that genuinely like my videos. So, just, I mean, fuck, when I get, when I got my first real fan, and I consider my first real fan to be the user Pathetic Addict, because... My YouTube channel was pretty much going nowhere. I mean, I didn't know what I wanted to do for videos. And then he commented and asked if I could do a smoking history video or a, a Q&A vid. And I got in touch with him and mentioned, you know, I don't have enough viewers to do a Q&A video. I could do a smoking history one. I never would have guessed that a video of me smoking on my balcony would have jumped my subscriber count up so much. That smoking on the balcony and channel updates, I think the video was, is what fucking sparked it. Because that brought him in, and 
that brought him to requesting my smoking history, which is my most viewed video. And then the cigar video, I, I think my second most viewed. So since that views went up, subscriber count went up. It's weird. Because that smoking on the balcony video sparked the smoking history video. And the smoking history video is what brought people in. It's what inspired me to do the other smoking videos, which slowly all of them put together have brought people in that have stayed with this channel. So am I a successful YouTuber? To me, I would say yes. Now, it's a phrase thrown out there, you know, people don't really know too much what it means past their own opinion. To be a successful YouTuber, people think you have to have a massive subscriber count, and you have to be making enough off the ad revenue to make a living and be very comfortable doing it. That's what I would call being a very successful YouTuber. To be a successful YouTuber, all you really need is to make your videos and have at least one or two people that are true fans of your content. And I make videos, and I have true fans of my content. I didn't know how um, attached my fans were to my videos until I made that recent video that was basically saying, you know, What's the point of me making YouTube videos? And you guys ripped me a new ass. You really did. And in, in a good way. Not, not the Bill Cosby way, the Charlie Sheen way. You were just basically like, in a nutshell, if you're not done, smoke more fucking cigars. So I was like, okay, I will. And when I uploaded that video, it wasn't one of those... No, I think I'm done with YouTube. I just, it was blah, 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 blah. No, it was, um, it was just a matter of, I figured my stuff would start to get boring. It's the only reason I debated stopping the smoking videos. And you guys showed up and you were like, fuck no, you smoke some cigars, bitch. Don't review shit, you just talk. We just want to see you smoke and talk. So it's like, sweet, I smoke and I talk a lot. So I can just record myself doing it. And this is not going to be my last cigar. I'm going to keep this specific one in mind. This uh, Don Diego Playboy one. It ain't going to focus. It ain't going to focus. I tried. But yeah, this Don Diego Playboy thing. I, I, I remember what it is. I'm definitely going to smoke another one of these sometime. But before I do that, I'm going to try another one. And my main reason for wanting this was it was longer and thinner. And I have a small mouth. So that short, fucking, fat, chode cigar I did the first time, I was you know, that was, I felt like it took too much effort for me to actually put, fit the thing in my mouth for me to be able to fully enjoy the experience. And I find with this, it's a lot easier because it's thinner. It's better for my small mouth. And aside from this one trying to put itself out a little bit too much, in my opinion, I find this one, um, is this still trying to focus on that area? But this one has very good draw compared to the other one. Now that's not me trying to review a cigar by any means. It's just me saying that I really like how this one has been performing compared to the first one. But you know, what did I expect? It, it was a dollar something cigar. This one's six dollars. You know, they get way more expensive than this. Obviously, they get pretty expensive. All right, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm going to have to finish this cigar by myself. Thanks for watching, and see you later.